Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Um, yeah, once more in the Waking Sands. Where Oyanji has more quests for us. Primal Awakening. When the scenary moon did wane, there sounded a blood-curling roar. A new primal had roused, the potence gave us to belief. One was identity yet life beyond our ken. By thy hand, three primals have since been vanquished. As each returned to the Aether, it was observed that tremors foreshadowing this fourth grew in strength and frequency both. This being doth quicken, and in time it shall become a scourge upon the land. Yet, even as we pondered the course of action, a benevolent soul did arise, one whom would forestall this threat. Though she be tender in years, she is true of heart and steadfast of resolve. She would solicit thine aid, if thou art willing to proffer it. Lest for wonder, this maiden is of our order. Thus did the antecedent straightways consent that thou shouldst assist her, thou mayest. As soon as thou art able, heave thee to Wineport, where thy petitioner does await thee even now. Thou shalt for a certainty find her visage strikingly familiar. Wineport. Alle there. It has been a wild adventure. As I recall, my brother Alfino took the liberty of introducing us when we first and last met. But for the sake of propriety, Alizé Leveilleur, I thank you for coming. I have heard much and more of your exploits. By your hand the Black Wolf is slain and his ultimate weapon destroyed. You are possessed of great strength and courage. That much is plain. I shall have need of one such as you if I am to see my mission through to its conclusion. As you may be aware, the violence of Dalamut's fall changed not only the face of the realm, but also the base of the realm. Specifically, it played havoc with the etheric currents, creating vast confluences of ether below the surface. Among other phenomena, this led to the formation of subterranean caverns at key points of stress. One such cavern lies beneath Castrum Occidents and extends to only the gods nowhere. Despite appearances, Castrum Occidents is as much a research facility as it is a fortress. Gaius von Belzer chose the site for no other reason than to probe the caverns without interference. As he went about vanquishing the returning primals, I observed a repeating wave of pattern in the aether corresponding exactly to the dates on which you were reported to have felt Ifrit, Titan and Garuda. Upon close examination, it became clear that these unique waveforms emanated from deep beneath the aforementioned stronghold. Crucially, I recorded the same pattern during the recent celebrations and have since been given to understand that this phenomenon bears a disquieting similarity to one observed shortly prior to the calamity. Five years ago, my grandfather invoked the power of the Twelfth that he might contain Bahamut. Alas, his efforts failed, and he vanished, together with his foe. I would know the truth of what transpired that day, of Grandfather's fate, and of a metamorphosis that swept across the land. In casting light upon these mysteries, we shall find a way to cure what ails this world. It is my belief that the answers I seek lie hid within the depths of a cavern. I would have you accompany me on an expedition to find them, Desiree. If truth be told, I am not one to rely upon others and have thus far handled matters alone, yet I am not blind to my limitations. Unescorted, I cannot hope to succeed in this endeavor. I swore that I would find a way to restore peace to Eorzea. If you desire the self same, then aid me, as you aided my brother and the science. I am in your debt. You're wo you are a woman of action. And I sense that we will accomplish much together. But 
let us not waste any more time. As mentioned before, Custom Ossidan straddles the cavern I wish to explore. If I am to have a hope of reaching it alive, I will need you to infiltrate the stronghold first and locate a path into the depths. Once you have done so, pray report your success to Storm Private uh, Jabroka. You may consider her my assistant here in Wineport. I have every faith that you will not fail me. Twelve speed your way, Desiree. Now, I've been there quite a few times already. Normally you have to fight through. And here is the gate you need to click. I've been expecting you, Desiree. By your coming, I take it you have successfully located the cavern entrance inside Custom Occidents? So, that's where it's to be found. Marvelous! Oh, but allow me to properly introduce myself. Jabroka is my name, and it's my honor to serve Lady Alize. Though, for reasons of convenience, at present I also serve the Maelstrom. This uniform accords me certain privileges, you see. In particular, ready access to the Maelstrom regional scouting reports. They provide a wealth of local knowledge and including information on secret passages. But enough about me. I shall notify Lady Alize of your discovery that she may prepare for the expedition. Though I don't doubt your abilities, none can say what dangers lurk beneath Castle Mercedes. For my lady's sake as well as your, as your own, please spare neither preparation nor caution. Pray choose your companions well. Binding Coil of Bahamut is now accessible. Now they give you for the Binding Coil of Bahamut all at once this for the uh, for this raid. Later raids you have to unlock them one after another, but with Binding Coil they didn't quite know what they are doing yet, and this is basically in difficulty comparable to the Savage raids, so the higher difficulty versions of later uh, raids. And so, they offer you this. Also, some things in, in here are a bit too weird. And so we go underground, beneath the Guardian Research Facility. The scars left by the calamity. I can scarce breathe for the surfeit of Aether. Tell me, have you ever seen corrupted crystals such as these? Such crystals manifested across the realm in the course of the great weather of Aether was irrevocably altered five years ago. Behold one of the objects that caused the alteration. A fragment of a lesser moon, Dalamut. Ancient Alak created Dalamut, or Meteor to use a Galian name, to serve as a celestial prism for Bahamut. Its fall inflicted grievous wounds upon the land, wounds that have yet to heal, as is evident from the corrupted crystals. Amazing. The Lamut's internal defenses still function in spite of everything. A testament to the ingenuity of the Alagans. The Galleons seek to appropriate their advanced technology, I'm certain of it. We are about to come face to face with secrets that have long lain buried within the sands of time. Great dangers may lie beyond. But we have come too far to turn back. The truth of a calamity is within reach. God's preserve. 
dark wings that would engulf the very heavens. These could only belong to Bahamut, the primal who laid Eorzea to waste five years ago. At Cartano, my grandfather sought to imprison Bahamut anew by invoking the power of a twelve. Alas, the Dreadworm proved too powerful, and he soon broke free from his confines. Yet instead of resuming the destruction he had begun, Bahamut vanished, river too no one knew, until this day. But I do not understand. If Bahamut is truly a primal, how is it that he retains his physical form? Did Grandfather defeat him? Or is there some other explanation? We must press on if we are to learn the truth. After a long time and many boss battles, we reach the central core in the depths of this uh, place. This is going rather more smoothly than I expected. It is indeed convenient to have a hero on hand. Gods, if a cavern should open up again even at this depth, this resembles a finger. And so it should. This is Bahamut's hand. As with the wings, it seems to be frozen, and for that I count my blessings. But again, I find myself wondering how it's able to retain physical form. I'd assume that Bahamut's reversion to Aether was the cause of the widespread changes to the realm. But if he's still here, then that fear we no longer holds. What was it then that brought about the realm's sudden regeneration? There's still so much we do not know about Cartano. I haven't the slightest inkling how deep these caverns run, but we must continue. That was actually pretty hard. Anyway, we are here now in this place. This contraption, is it used to control the situation of either? I suppose there's only one way to find out. The dragon you vanquished earlier, doubtless you noticed a com peculiar contraption about its neck. It was likely a scepter of some description used to enslave the creature. Ancient Alak possessed the means to control dragons, it would seem. Each guardians would kill for this knowledge, though to be sure, it could be as easily be brought to bear against them. An 
army of dragons could turn the tide of any battle, as the guardians once learned to their sorrow. I would not be the least bit surprised if they now sought to exploit this power. Whatever their plans, this serves as another reminder of the might of Yalagans. One cannot help but wonder how so advanced a civilization came to fall. Gods be good. That is Bahamut's hat. This is this is Bahamut's hat. An enormous crystal? It pulsates as if as if it were a heart. When the prime of it had awakened, was Bahamut all this time? No, 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 no. This cannot be true. This this would mean that grandfather died for naught. Found it. We do not know enough to strike at it now. We must withdraw. Who was that? No, it can't be. Grandfather, is it truly you? Sweat over there. No, don't leave me again, please. Grandfather. I. No. We can't do no more for now. This looks like... How did we come to be in Norman Funnelan of all places? Oh, but such details matter little. Grandfather's alive, Desiree. Bahamut did not defeat him. But why won't he return to us? I don't understand. This expedition has yielded more questions than it did answers. At any rate, we would both be better for a rest. Let us return to the waking sands and reflect upon what we have seen. Thank you, Desiree. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Pleased to see you again, Desiree. I've already shared the fruits of our expedition with you, Angie. Let us together ponder the implication. It 
full glad am I for thy safe return. Lady Alize has apprised me of thy many experiences. As thou wilt doubtless be aware, Master Louis Soir was my lady's grandsire. Gravely concerned was I for her safety, but it would seem I need not have been so. With all my heart I do thank thee for watching over her. But come, thou must speak with Mistress Alize upon that which transpired within the binding coil. May it serve to bring us closer to the truth of a calamity. Shall we begin then? Yuanji, I understand you have a report of your own to share with us. Aye, my lady. Even as thou didst emerge from the depth, an etheric disturbance betokening primal activity was observed. In Modona was it marked first. By comparison of time and magnitude, we have since re deduced its origin, the Cardinal Flats. Strange. There have been no reports of primal activity in that region. I could, it could only have been Bahamut. That would certainly explain how we came to be in northern Fanadan. Somehow the cavern took us all the way from Wilburn to the heart of Aldenard. It would seem so, my lady. It is all but certain then. After Bahamut disappeared five years ago, he hid himself be deep beneath Cardano and has since lain dormant, regenerating. I, my lady, taken together with our own account of Bahamut's continued presence, the land's slowness to heal, and the disorder of the etheric currents do point to one conclusion. Bahamut stirreth. If left unchecked, the primal shall drink Eorzea's life force till he doth waken to rain ruin upon the land. Rest assured, I do not mean to give up, Desiree. Bahamut may still live, but so too does Grandfather. For the past five years he has been keeping vigil over his nemesis, making certain that the primal does not escape. Master Lusua doth yet live. I durst not hope, and though I was certain it was no mere manifestation of my all too sorely felt grief. I know how desperate this may sound to Rianje, but I saw with my own two eyes, as a Desiree. But he vanished deeper into the labyrinth before we had a chance to speak. Two more like fragments of Dalamut pierced the earth when the lesser moon fell. One we have seen. If we can but find the other two, I'm certain that we will find Grandfather as well. If thou so believest, my lady, then I too shall have faith. If it pleases you, I shall notify the grand companies of this development. All Eorzea must stand united if we are to avert a repeat of a calamity. That will not be necessary, Orianji. Being the great conciliator that he is, Alphano will seek to unite Eorzea of his own accord. If rumors are true, that endeavor is already well underway. So let us leave a diplomacy to the diplomat, while we continue our investigation of Bahamut. I swear to you, no matter what it takes, we will find my grandfather and uncover the whole truth of a calamity. Desiree, you have heard me swear to do these things, but without your strength, I cannot hope to make good on my word. The danger to yours has not passed. For the sake of all who abide here, I pray that you will ever be our sword in the darkness. Proof is down there. Yeah, that was the binding coil of Bahamut, but as it is with Final Fantasy XIV, all raids come in three, pa three pairs and we'll continue with another time. Until next time then, I am Mace and don't get lost.